Hold up. Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and we have a slight update on the JD and AH case. This one is a doozy, though. This is really weird. When you try to silence your critics, generally it is because you don't like what they are saying. And if you remember correctly, a while back, six months or so, we had Amber come out and try to do that exact thing on social media. She took and filed papers talking about over 200 Twitter accounts that were bots. Remember? They were bots. Everyone that was critical in those 200 accounts were bots. And we discussed this at length because the idea of really putting that label on something or someone, rather, is a little damaging. It seems like a coping mechanism, and it seems like that's exactly what she was trying to do. But now, now we actually have her naming people. And this came out a couple days ago, and I want to talk about it. But of course, if you are new to this channel and enjoy this type of content, hit subscribe. I make content every single day day also hit that like button it helps in the algorithm and with these videos sometimes it's a little touchy leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of this but right now we have amber specifically naming three people now i've always said if you can't debate somebody on their merits on what they say then don't engage in it at all Because if not, it ends up being, you know, their bots, which in a way is a personal insult. If that's what you go for, you've already lost the argument. And now we actually have court papers of her coming out. And I'm going to read them to you. And it's pretty funny. As part of the campaign to smear, Miss Heard, smear, not tell the truth. If you'll notice, the language says smear. Sure, Amber. The cope is real. Mr. Wildman and Mr. Depp also contacted the media to uh, falsely call Ms. Heard a liar and a hoax artist. Now, have you proven that? Have you shown any proof of that? That it was specifically to call you a liar in a hoax office? Now we are a hoax <laughs> artist. I'm sorry. Now we do know that Mr. Wildman did go to the media with some recordings and stuff, but was it? For that reason specifically, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to prove your case. If you make big claims, you better have big evidence. Not only including the mainstream media, but also social media accounts, including that umbrella guy, that Brian Fella, which on YouTube is known as Incredibly Average, and he does a great job. Both that umbrella guy and incredibly average, have YouTube channels, and they do a good job of showing exactly what is going on. Now, for that Brian fella, or incredibly average, at least on YouTube, from what I can tell, he's not near as active as what he used to be, but he does break down some of the conversations and puts a lot of his own time, a lot of his own blood, sweat, and tears into it. So to come out and say that it was just to smear her is ridiculous. and. The real Laura B, which regularly attack Miss Heard. I love, love, love the real Laura B. She does a fantastic job of not smearing anyone. Sure, she may give her opinion and all of that, but what she actually does is get the court documents. She gets everything you need to know and keep up to date with the actual case she doesn't smear anyone she doesn't make it that way she gives you the facts and she lets you make your mind up for yourself the real laura b is like the queen b i love her she does such a great job but she regularly attacks miss Heard, along with that umbrella guy and that brian fella um now they've got some sort of evidence in there but mr waldman also regularly tweeted about the facts of the case. Well, at least she's calling them facts. I mean, I'm not sure that they actually meant to put that in there, but at least they're calling it facts. The counterclaim and misheard until his Twitter account was removed for life for his conduct. Now, 
She did call what information Mr. Waldman put out there facts. But when it came to that umbrella guy, incredibly average, and the real Laura B., she called them smear. So if they were on a smear campaign, would they use court documents? Would they interpret what happened during different subpoenas or what was going on? Would they put their time and effort into actually doing so? And honestly, I don't think so. I don't think that either, I don't think that any of these three have any malicious intent when it comes to this case. I honestly can tell you that I think if something insane came out and there was evidence that proved JD did this, now this is obviously not going to happen, but they would believe facts and evidence. I do. I really think so. I think that even when something doesn't look good for JD, they put it out there. So to go out and say that these three specifically are smearing them is ridiculous. Now, I want to know what they have, what they're sharing in this case. I want to know if it's maybe videos, because as far as that umbrella guy, he does probably do an Amber Heard video five times a week. Like he really dives deep into there. And it was actually to a point where I couldn't keep up. So I kind of laid low on some of the legal stuff because as long as I knew the information was out there, I was okay with that. I was okay with realizing that wasn't maybe my uh, intel where my intelligence lied. And I'm okay with that. I'm a comic book person. Come on, give me a break. You want to know about Batman? I'll tell you. You want to know what Superman's weakness is? Sure, it's kryptonite. You want to know what an anti-slap law is? And I'm like, I'm going to go to Google. And yeah, I'm not much more useful than Google when it comes to that stuff. But he does a really good job of doing deep dives into this. And actually, I had to re-upload a video recently that also mentioned a bunch of other great YouTubers, right? I've had Dr. Soup on here multiple times, and I love her. She does a fantastic job, not only on this case, but on the Marilyn Manson case also, which is still ever evolving. So what is her what is her end game here? Because she can't silence these people. What is the point in mentioning them? What is the why of this all? And that's really what I want to know. And I'm curious. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think there is a point of silence? Do you think there is a point of just contempt? Or do you think there is more of an end game here that maybe is not written out just quite yet? Let me know, of course, what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.